Hey, what's going on guys? How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Welcome to another episode of The Body Beatdown. I'm Michael, your incredible host. So, uh, if you kept up with uh, kind of my past couple of videos, you know that I threw my back out extremely bad yesterday, Friday, doing my back workout, uh, doing sitting cable rows. And uh, that movement is very dangerous for me to do. It's not the first time that it's aggravated my back, but this is the first time that it uh, took it to that degree. Um, with my 25 years of my chronic bad back, that was one of the worst, most intense pains I've felt in a long time. And uh, I'm not better, uh, believe me, my back is still out. But I've been able to move and uh, have a little bit of comfort I'll use quotations there today. Uh, a little bit more comfort than I had yesterday anyway. And uh, I have done my walk. I did my spin. I did go to the grocery store. And uh, I did cook. So I have been up doing things. But I just have to be extremely mindful uh, of everything I'm doing. So it is going on 9 p.m. Saturday. And if you keep up with my videos, you know that Saturdays I typically... Uh, do deadlifts and I'll usually incorporate doing some uh, bicep movement. So I decided not to do anything today because well the smart thing to do is not to do anything because I really have no real mobility. Uh, but I'm gonna try and see, yep I know you're thinking oh my god Michael don't do it! But I'm gonna try and see on my Smith machine if I can do kind of uh, some unweighted dead lifts. And uh, just the bar and the bar itself with the little uh, carriage apparatus weighs 57 pounds. So I thought, uh, why not try to do some of that because uh, truth be told, uh, squats and deads and stuff like that, if done properly, can sometimes help the back. And uh, also it helps to strengthen the back. So. Not that my back will ever be strengthened. Uh, it, it, I just have a, a spinal issue. I have something <laughs> going on there. So um, anyway, let's see if we can get any sort of movement at all. I haven't even tried. I just put the bar in place and uh, we're going to see this together, guys. So we're going to rotate the camera. Not even going to cut. We're just going to see what happens, guys. Okay, let's tilt it down just a bit. And... Uh, yeah, we'll just see what we get here. Now I'm gonna stand on this side here because I don't feel like getting over there. And since I'm not going with any weights on there, I don't have to worry about much. So. Okay, now, I realize that that was nothing impressive to watch, but I think the impressive thing is, is just seeing someone come in here and do that at all, who literally was deciding if they needed to go to the emergency room uh, yesterday. <laughs> that's how much pain I was in. And uh, that's somebody who's used to that kind of pain. And I was literally at that point where I was like, uh, I might need to go. and uh, But all they're going to do is fill you full of some medication and send you home with a $5,000 bill and after you wait eight hours to get in there to see them. So anyway, uh, what I'm going to do at this point, that felt really good. 
I'm gonna lower the bar down. I got the safeties up just a little bit. I'm gonna lower the safeties all the way down and let the bar go uh, as far down as it can go. And uh, I might put tens on there and I'm gonna call it uh, done as far as that. But I am gonna do probably four sets of these uh, just to get my back some movement and uh, nice and slow and steady. And uh, we might do one more video clip of just showing that with some tens, all right? And this is really, again, it's not to show you anything great, but it's to inspire you to keep pushing forward and keep trying and keep moving because the more that you move, if you can, uh, believe me, I've been to the point where I can't move, but if you can move, it's better to try to move and keep the blood flowing and the oxygen flowing and keep your body moving and uh, keep going, for lack of better words, lack of better scientific terminology. Um, it's good to keep going if you can, guys. So, and that's why I walked and I spun on the bike. So it's good to keep going. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw some tens on here and we're just gonna do some super easy uh, rack deadlifts. Stick with me. Here we are guys, we just got a 10 on each side. Uh, the bar and apparatus is 57, that's 20, so that comes up 77 pounds. All right, and as I mentioned before, I'm not gonna bore you with any more of that. I know it's nothing amazing to see. So I'm gonna do a couple more sets of those just to work my back out a little bit. Those feel really comfortable. It actually feels really good. And uh, if you do it with uh, proper form, which I'm assuming I'm pretty close to proper form, it really, uh, deadlifts really stretch out that area on my back that is hurt and uh, although it does worry me sometimes when I'm deadlifting uh, heavy weights, uh, for me, heavy weights, uh, I can also tell that it's, I think it's good for it. It feels like it just gives it a nice stretch and that's what this is doing. So I'm really happy I decided to come in here. So I'm gonna do a couple more sets of this. I'm not gonna do nothing stupid and uh, I might do some uh, sets of some super lightweight dumbbell curls or something uh, just to get in a little bit of bicep work and that's it guys. So I hope I inspired you a little bit and uh, I hope I give you that drive and that inspiration to uh, continue moving forward and doing the best that you can. And uh, I think we all need that at times to have that kick in the butt. And uh, I'm glad to be where I'm at right now and, and you know I'm in pain still but I'm glad that uh, it's subsided and uh, I'm at least able to concentrate. <laughs> so um, anyway, guys, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the body beat down. I appreciate it. All right, get up, get out, get rad, do it to it, and stay awesome, be awesome, be an inspiration to someone along the way, including yourself. All right, we'll see y'all later. Get up, get out, get rad, and do it to it.